and now joining us, by satellite, live from Beijing, I'm delighted to welcome Bernie Ecclestone. Hi Bernie, it's great to see you. Good to see you too Martin, and you're early. I like that. I took a shortcut. Now don't you start, that's my idea. Yes. Yes it is, so Bernie, how are you? I'm fine Martin, looking forward to all the cash, sorry looking forward to a great season. You must be very pleased to see Michael Schumacher back. Absolutely it's great, he's going to win the world championship you know. Really Bernie why is that? Well he's driving for Mercedes, and they are marvelously organized. When they were last in F1 in the 30s, they knew how to get things done. What was their team boss's name again? Adolf something. Uh, yes. So what do you think of the young pretenders to the championship like Sebastian Vettel? Oh he's great, he's going to win the world championship. And why do you say that? Youth is the key. The younger the better. As long as you don't marry them and they take you for 800 million pounds. You must be really excited about the prospect of Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton at McLaren. Of course. Absolutely. He's going to win the world championship. Which one? Both of them. You can't beat twins. Well Max could, but then he was paying for it. And we also have Fernando Alonso at Ferrari. Oh he's great, he's going to win the world championship. Why? Experience. That is the key. But a minute ago you said youth was the key. That was 20 seconds ago I've had three more great ideas since then. How about to spice things up we release llamas five laps from the end, if you hit one it's a stop and go. Or all the drivers have to sing show tunes over the in-car radio, we'll get Simon Cowell to judge. If he doesn't like it, it'll be a stop and go. Or how about if anyone gets too far ahead we pour honey into the cockpit and get a bear to ride shotgun. If they get mauled, it's a stop and go. Bernie are you sure? Of course I am. How about this one, if a team's doing really badly we let their crap driver deliberately crash and bring out the safety car so their number one driver can win. Then when we find out we let the culprit off for grassing up his boss, and then we cock up the punishment so badly we have to pay the boss bloody thousands. Bernie now you're just being stupid.